And where we are today, I think uh, we're also very uh, full of anxiety about the world that's sort of looming on the edges. And uh, this afternoon, I'll be reading one poem for the Climate Symposium uh, downtown in uh, Norfolk, sponsored by the Contemporary Arts Network. Uh, a lot of scientists are going to be there, but I'm going to be reading a few echo, poet, uh, echo poems with two of my graduate students. So I thought I'd read some of that sort of thing, too. This one is called Water on Mars. Something called a context camera took pictures of the Bosporus Planum, popped and pitted as an arid valley or a face upward and ablaze with acne in a land abandoned by time. Scientists say these craters prove Mars once teemed with liquid water. Freshwater pools, rivers, streams that must have held some form of microbial life before the water left or vaporized, leaving only its mineral trace. Here where we live, out west, farmers uproot whole orchards. From above, rows of almond trees slide brittle on their sides overcome by the growing waterlessness of living. Brush fires ignite smoke-breathed constellations in late summer's blistering. We are so desperate to find a well to answer our thirst, a world where we might rest a cheek on the ground and not be scorched. <laughs> 